so this is a continuation of our previous video in our previous video we proved that arithmetic operation on uh, intervals is um, additively commutative and multiplicatively commutative now here we are going to prove that it is associatively comm i mean uh, associative additively associative and additively multiplicative to prove this uh, first we shall consider uh, that a plus b plus c that is the left hand side of this so that is equal to now what is a plus b it is the closed interval a1 comma a2 okay plus closed interval b1 comma b2 bracket plus what is c closed interval c1 comma c2 okay now this is equal to now what is a1 what is this a1 plus b1 so closed interval a1 plus b1 comma a2 plus b2 a2 plus b2 plus closed interval c1 comma c2 now what we can do we can add a1 plus b1 with c1 so that is equal to closed interval a1 plus b1 plus c1 comma a2 plus b2 with c2 so a2 plus b2 plus c2 and now we can write this as closed interval a1 comma a2 plus b1 plus c1 comma b2 plus c2 so that is equal to closed interval a1 comma a2 plus bracket closed interval b1 uh, comma b2 plus closed interval c1 comma c2 we can write like this so now this is equal to what this is a plus bracket this is b plus this is c so we started with a plus b plus c and we have got a plus b plus c so the brackets has got interchanged so hence we have proved that uh, the uh, arithmetic uh, prop arithmetic operation on uh, interval closed interval is additively associative next we shall prove that it is multiplicatively associative for which we have to prove that a multiplied with b multiplied with c is equal to a multiplied with b multiplied with c so this is what we have to prove so we will consider the left hand side first now we shall prove this by considering an example where we will take a to be equal to closed interval 1 comma 2 b to be equal to closed interval 3 comma 4 and c to be equal to closed interval 0 comma 1 so it will be like this is a a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 now first uh, we will consider the left hand side that is a dot b uh, then this is multiplied with c so the left hand side is a dot b multiplied with c so that is equal to closed interval 1 comma 2 multiplied with closed interval 3 comma 4 then multiplied with closed interval 0 comma 1 now what is this actually this is by the definition we will have it to be closed interval minimum of multiplication of these that is 1 is multiplied with 3 then 1 with 4 2 with 3 so 6 4 2 multiplied with 4 is 8 comma maximum of the again the same values 3 4 6 and 8 then this has to be multiplied with closed interval 0 comma 1 now what do we obtain this to be what is minimum of this this the minimum of this is 3 comma the maximum of this is 8 so 3 comma 8 multiplied with closed interval 0 comma 1 so again by using the same formula these two has to be multiplied and we will be getting this to be minimum of 3 multiplied with 0 3 multiplied with uh, 1 so 3 and then comma it's not a bracket 8 multiplied with 0 comma 8 multiplied with 1 comma maximum of again 3 multiplied with 0 3 multiplied with 1 3 8 multiplied with 0 and 8 multiplied with 1 and so that is equal to closed interval minimum of this value is 0 and the maximum of this value this is 8 the maximum of this value is 8 so this is our left hand side 
in a similar manner we will evaluate the right hand side and we will check whether it is equal to the left hand side the right hand side is a multiplied with b multiplied with c so that is equal to closed interval a is 1 comma 2 multiplied with bracket closed interval 3 comma 4 multiplied with closed interval 0 comma 1 so the as per the definition this will be equal to 1 comma 2 multiplied with uh, closed interval now this will be minimum of 3 multiplied with 0 is 3 is 0 3 multiplied with 1 so 3 comma 4 multiplied with 0 is 0 4 multiplied with 1 is 4 correct yeah so and this comma maximum of the same values 0 3 0 4 okay and so that is equal to 1 comma 2 closed interval multiplied with closed interval now here the minimum of this is 0 so 0 comma and here the maximum value is 4 now we have to apply the same method so this will be equal to closed interval minimum of 1 multiplied with 0 is 0 1 multiplied with 4 is 4 2 multiplied with 0 is 0 2 multiplied with 4 is 8 and then comma maximum of the same value so 0 4 0 8 and so that is equal to we obtain this to be the minimum of this value is 0 and the maximum of this value is 8 and this is our RHS we observed that the left hand side is closed interval 0 comma 8 and the right hand side is closed interval 0 comma 8 therefore the uh, the arithmetic operation of multiplication is associative on the intervals okay so it is multiplicatively associative hope you have understood this concept in our next video we will learn more properties on the arithmetic properties of uh, on the interval thank you